I guess a couple days ago, I asked you to name my dinosaurs for me. And in typical Miola fashion, I forgot to do it. So, um... Let's do it. We got Gary the Spino. Apparently, I got to rename this guy because we crashed yesterday and it undone his naming. So, welcome back, Zombie Carnage. We got King Kong the Beast Titan. We got Ami the Dodie, who technically it's Ameth... Am Ameth... Amethyst? Am Amethyst? Is it, is it Amethyst? The, the Rock? The Geode? Oh, I should call you Geode! All right, sorry about that. His name is actually Geode. We got a pile of dead baby Dilos. Another one! Are you not functioning on me again, mate? Oh, I never activated you. Well, wow. We, okay, whatever. Uh, cool, I guess. Welcome welcome to the squad, buddy. Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you. Ooh, I like the name you're about to receive, mate. Smolder. <laughs> I like it. And Boulder. That probably makes less sense, actually. Our big old dragon boy here. He got that Midas touch. You know, because his gold and everything he touches turns to aggressively trying to kill us no he thought i was gonna say gold there didn't ya nope he nearly died yesterday let's try to make him survive today also dodo what do you think you're doing now who does that oh tapajara mate you need a name too i actually get the feeling i called my prime tapajara this last series actually no i went and kind of put a spin on the name i was going to give him jumbo jet but he is our primal jet and for whatever reason we have some vultures currently invading our base i saw it there's a second one i knew it i knew it get out of here vultures you are not welcome and last but not least our big old argy he's getting called forza as in like Forza Italia. I don't know, like the chant, you know, like soccer team. Anyways, it doesn't matter. He's the Italian flag color. That's all that really matters. You get the point. There we have it. A pretty much entirely named Dino Squad. We'll just ignore everyone that's hiding behind me because none of these guys have got names yet. So now that that's out the way, I got some bad news. We're going to sacrifice some of these guys today. <laughs> yep. You guys know the rules. Whenever our dinosaurs get named, they're more likely to die. And unfortunately, three of our friends around our base are, um, they're, they're facing that inevitable fate today. They will die. They will not die to random dinosaurs. They will die by my hands, by sacrificial ways. Because today I require three hearts. Three hearts from three of our prime dinosaurs. That's right. A lot of you guys are safe. Give yourselves a pat on the back for not being strong enough. <laughs> Give yourselves a pat on the back for being absolute failures. But long story short, either you, you, you or you. Is that it? Are they all out primals? Oh, wow. I think they are. Unless we decide to evolve some of these guys. <laughs> are getting sacrificed for the greater good. For what we are sacrificing these guys for is the potential of receiving a god so now the question becomes who's gonna go i might be looking at you old gorilla boy <laughs> don't worry Argy. i think you might actually oh you know what oh you know what had it been a couple days ago we done this i think you might have survived but right now we've got a bit of an excess of strong flyers on our hands so your role here is Mm, it's becoming a little obsolete. Oh, I might have just lost another two dialos, by the way. Anyways, I should probably give some more context to what we're actually doing right here. Long story short, there is an item in here, I believe, called the Transmute Shrine. Turns out, no, it might be in my own inventory. This thing right here. Now, as you can see, it is rather expensive, but I've been burning up some metals. So I hope that we've got what it takes, and we do, thankfully, very much. Great. Now, as you can read in the description of this uh, structure, item, whatever you want to call it, it summons in Megas and Titans. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying. But don't worry, we're not going to be doing that today. I very unwillingly am going to place this in my base. I hope this doesn't just randomly summon stuff in. Also, I just watched her take a poop in my base. What are you doing? Anyways, oh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Oh, I don't want to... Oh, here we go. Transmute Ancient Prime... Anyways, as you can see, you can you can summon in a bunch of stuff. Why did I place this in my base? It's fine. We'll break it and we'll craft a fresh one. Because apparently, you can't even pick the thing up. But as you saw, it has the option to transmute an ancient. The problem is it requires three hearts. Three prime hearts. So, we need to hop back in here. We need to craft up three of these little fellas. Which I'm pretty sure we've got everything for. Maybe not the water jars. We might need some water jars. We need... Do we need some water? We need some water jars. 
Man, there's always something I need. Hey, uh, Beast Titan, buddy. <laughs> you want to give me one last ride before I sacrifice you for the good of the gods? I actually feel kind of guilty about this, not going to lie. But there are my three little water jars. Buddy, this might be your last ride. This might be the last one. <gasps> Wait, what? <laughs> Why is my Dilo out of the ocean? All right, add another tame dead to the tally, whatever. Three water jars go in. Three sacrifice elixirs come out. Ooh, baby, it's getting closer. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, I think I need to just hop in here and feed it to him. Uh, used to sacrifice specific dinosaurs for a greater cause. <laughs> even says it place in the inventory mount your dinosaur and press x well guys this is your last chance say goodbye to gorilla boy because he is gone he's gone did he give me anything though hold on a second <gasps> yes we got it the prime heart and as you can see it has a ton of uses oh my gosh using the prime rex using the primal elemental golem something about eggs something about shadow mains something about ape something apexes oh oh <gasps> i can feed it to my manticore to breed my manticores oh no Nope, nope. Focus on what we're doing. Focus on what we're doing. What we're doing is picking two more dinosaurs to sacrifice. Uh, you know what? Um, where did he go? I got a little pteranodon in here somewhere. Where has he gotten to, though? What are you doing out here? <gasps> there he is. I must have run straight past him. Buddy, it's going to cost me a fortune to do it, but I'm going to sacrifice you, too. Just need some treats and some meats and some more meats. And now I'm going to evolve you just to dissolve you. Thank you. Thank you. I came up with that one myself. Ooh, looks like we got a storm coming in. Buddy, it's time for you to get sacrificed. Maybe, possibly, potentially. Anyways, have a little blue fella and then have eight of these bad boys and you failed already. Wow, that's a great start. All right, so let's see if we can get it on the second try. Show me what you've got, little dude. Show me what you've got. I'm feeling up. No, another failure. All right, we need more meat. Okay, buddy. Try these on for size. Try this combination on. Third time lucky, I say. What do you got for me, dude? Oh, there we go. Third time lucky. It only took 24, but there we go. Welcome. Another Tapajara. Unfortunately, mate, I'm going to say goodbye just as quickly as we said hello. Because, um, unfortunately for you... It's time to get sacrificed. <laughs> well, that's two down. We got one more to go. And with every sacrifice, the game is getting darker and darker. Moodier and moodier. So who's it going to be? You know what? I'm actually considering our poor little Kairuku over here. The unfortunate part here is he's going to cost an absolute fortune to evolve. But the benefit is I get to see... What his special little saddle is going to... Wait, he succeeded. Hold on. Is that a success? It, it, it's... It's green. Oh, you pile of trash. What are you doing? We are legit burning through everything we have. All right, have some more meat. Come on, second time lucky. Don't make me try you a third time. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And on that note, we have ourselves a big penguin. Now, obviously, if you've been following along, you know that I've been curious as to what this little saddle here does. So uh, we may as well test this out before he gets sacrificed. Uh, that there, what is that? I need to know what that weapon is and whether or not I have to kill it. Okay, well, that's, I guess, our special ability. I didn't even mean to do that. We have little minions. Interesting. Is that our... Is that is that our ability? Oh, snap. Okay, maybe that's our ability. Oh, gosh. This guy's interesting, to say the least. Maybe we should keep a penguin. But it kind of gets in the way of our bigger plans for today. Damn, he hits pretty hard, too. Oh, my gosh. Uh, maybe, maybe this is a mistake. Do I keep the penguin or destroy the penguin? He do be kind of cute, though. And he can summon in his little yetis. I don't know how strong his yetis are, but we got yetis. He's got a C ability that freezes everything, I think, maybe, but perhaps. Yeah, look at that. We got, man, all right. Now I'm kind of second guessing myself here, guys. <gasps> all right, and then we got the X ability, which just obliterates everything with like a meteor shower or something. I don't really understand what's going on. Yeah, here, here we go. Look at him go. Just, just wipes. Well, okay, nothing died. I don't even know if I got any kills that time around. Yeah, look at all the damage. Dude. 
Oh, I don't know what to do. Such a moral conundrum here. But unfortunately for this little guy, we got bigger plans in play. I wonder if this sacrifice is going to open up the heavens or just cause downpour on us. It's time to find out. Sorry, dude. I do apologize for this one here. I do apologize, but the time has come. Wait a second. Why didn't he get sacrificed? I think maybe I got to pop that off. Oh. No, oh, it's good. I got it. It's all fine. <laughs> he, just, he just wanted to drop his special ability one last time. Ah, there's those beautiful blue skies. Well, on that note, uh, we have, I think, everything we need to summon in an ancient. Or at least I thought we did. You know what? Let's quickly have one last little check of our book here just to make sure. See, this is where it actually explains what we're doing. It says, most of the blow listed ancient dinos will only require three prime hearts and one prime kibble. So we need the kibble as well. I've got the kibble. It's all good. What you get is random and can be sacrificed if needed. Dragon Manticore, Lava Golem, Wyvern, Gorilla can be directly gained from sacrificing the prime variant, gaining its special heart piece and the additional listed items below yeah i wasn't really following along with what i was reading just then but what we are now going to do is travel away from our base because i don't really know i can't remember how this whole thing goes down and i don't really want to summon anything crazy inside of my base so i'm just going to come a little bit further away from my base it's probably still within range that if it got angry it would probably decimate everything that i've worked so hard to collect we are going to place down a transmutation shrine it's just a transmute shrine i'm gonna light it I don't know what the difference is, not going to lie. I'm going to then, I guess, do this. Yeah. Unique prime heart relic or specific item. <gasps> I didn't... Okay. Hello, buddy. How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. How are you? How are you? Get out of here. Will ya? Boy, oh boy. So I might have acknowledged that I needed a certain item, but I certainly did not get it. I'm missing my prime kibble. Whoopsie. Okay, there we go. Now let's go and do this thing. Maybe this time I'll deal with the wild dilos first because these guys are pests. Okay, Trent. Oh, did I not kill you? Hmm. Okay, he'll be fine. So I guess all I got to do is this. And... <laughs> oh, boy. I don't know if you just saw what we got, but I'm going to say that is a win. We do not have one of these yet. We have ourselves an ancient Dimorphodon Prime. Oh. <gasps> And there it is. Oh, 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 oh. oh boy, you, you look like something. Oh, he looks like a skeleton. He's got his white scully bone ivory face, black wings, green tipped. Oh my gosh. Level 1430. And we've got a Dimorphodon right here to test him out on. That's some pretty good base damage. Now we got some leveling up to do. Also, it says control F2. What does that do? Ooh, kill count. Wait, what? Okay. So this keeps tracks of like keeps track of all the bosses we've killed. How have I never seen or on this dinosaur? Does every dinosaur have that? Because that is sweet. I've never seen that little thing at the bottom right hand side of the screen pop up before. So that that's a first. Awesome. Well, it goes without saying, uh, we're going to max this guy out and see what he's made of. We have summoned in an ancient god. It's time to see what he can do for us. I just need you on my shoulder. And it's time to see what this ancient god can do for us. Probably should get a saddle or something for him first, but whatever, skis. He's got his fireball attack. This here has killed a lot of my pygmy minions. Not pygmy minions, my, my RG minions. And it does not disappoint yet. Oh boy. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is very, very nice. We've got our left click attack, which was just our bite, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's pretty standard. C, do we have a C attack? Doesn't look like it. X attack? Nope. But does he have any special ability? Oh, hold on a second. <gasps> Wait, is this the guy that summons in random primes to help him? I was just going to land and test out our abilities while we're on the ground. Because we can still bite. We can still fireball. C and X don't do anything on the ground. Okay, so I, I, I need to work out what exactly the deal with that is. Because uh, that is that is interesting. That is very interesting. And I can send him to do my dirty work for me. I can send a whole army of these guys to do my dirty work for Wait, what? Hold on a second. Uh, look, so we got this B, okay. I, what, what, what's going on down here? What are these guys? Are they my minions too? They are. Wait, they're his minions. Wait, I summon a minion and then he summons his own minions? Is it always a B or is it random? Oh my gosh, look at him go. They missed the target, but when they... <laughs> okay then. 
Okay then. Okay then. Okay then. Um, I need to know now if it's just a random prime by chance that it was the little B or what else we can get out of this guy because that is going to be a game changer, I think. Um, X, X, C. Wait for the cooldown to finish. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a bit of a cooldown. I don't know how long that cooldown is, but that's okay. We'll be patient about it. Yeah, right. Uh, but yeah, let's just keep leveling this guy up in the meantime and see how strong we can actually get him. Dude, with a direct hit, he does some damage and a half. Oh my gosh. Um, these stegos, unfortunately for them. Oh, not quite, but they will die. Oh, yeah, this shiny just spawned in too. All right. Um, I'm struggling to hit targets. Apparently, this fireball isn't as accurate as I had first thought. It might be. It's actually, the damage radius actually isn't that crazy either. But we've got every level now. So let's start dropping him in. And I can already notice he's getting more health than any of our other dinosaurs have gotten per level. So that is a great start. And I'm taking him straight to 100,000. Bam. That's 50, exactly 51 levels took him to full heal. Unfortunately, I don't have any health potions. That's probably not great. Um, he's pretty fast already, but I'm going to go and put some into speed anyways just to see what he can do. That's pretty good. And last but not least, the rest of these levels, you already know where they're going. I don't even need to say it. They're all going into melee damage, of course. We need to see what he's made of. Also, hey, there is a wild version of me, except it has like fast heal buffs, so it's no point me even dealing with that. Um, let's have a look at what a fireball does now, though. If I can actually hit a target, that is. 15,000 damage. Uh, whoa. Wait, what? Why are you attacking me? He's extra strong too. He will probably kill me in a single hit. Did I attack a, did I attack a pygmy or something? Because normally these King Kongs aren't that aggressive. Not like that. That's craziness. Okay, I have to make sure that doesn't hit me. Otherwise, we are going to be in a lot of trouble. So the downside here with the Dial Dime Orphodon is he doesn't seem to be able to move backwards. I mean, not backwards, sideways. He can't, he can't strafe. It's either forwards or backwards. So we're going to have to act quick to get out of the way of anything. But what he can do is just rapid fire fireballs, which is absolutely incredible. I didn't think we could fire these that quick. We're going to have the quickest... Oh my gosh, this guy can run up mountains. <gasps> There's a primed eye bear up there as well. Oh my gosh. All right, we're going to get double primes here, I think. <gasps> Wait, I should tell somebody my minions. Um, Hold on, I don't even know where the die... Oh, I see the die bear. All right, let me focus on King Kong, who has decided he's ready to fight again, apparently. And then... Then I'll turn my attention to the Dire Bear because <laughs> this guy's proven to be everything I could have dreamt of. Oh my gosh. We've got a Prime King Kong head. We've got another one of these guns. Three of these now. Uh, a bunch of other stuff that doesn't really matter. We've got a Dodo. We've got a regular Wyvern. No, that's a Dodo Wyvern. Oh no, no, it's both. A, a Wyvern and Dodo Wyvern. Interesting. And the rest of it's pretty much whatever. Okay, so nothing too crazy out of that, but... We do have this guy here up here as well with us. Uh, what I, yeah. All right, I'm gonna send my minion down to do my dirty work this time around. I don't even know how this minion guy works, but cooldown. Wait, is my cooldown not finished yet? Did I summon one in without realizing? I'm actually confused. I don't actually know. Okay, I guess the cooldown's still, is the cooldown still on? It might be still on. Yeah, I don't really know how this whole summon situation works, but either ways, uh, I don't need it because I have fireballs and this guy can't get close to me, I'm pretty sure, as long as I keep on launching them at him. Oh yeah, he's got his little giant die bear friends that he can summon in for us, but what's that going to do? It's going to do, do a thing. There he goes. I knew it was a new matter of time. Oh my gosh, we have a new found force and I'm feeling pretty unstoppable, not going to lie. I uh, just got to make sure I don't dip too low. But that's that. It's done. We've got another Prime Kibble back as well. We get some meat ahead. More random weapons and armor and stuff. And what is breathing fire? Oh, no. I just set it on fire, I think. Okay, that's cool. I thought there was like another one beneath us. And I got excited there for a second. But dude, this is great. Wait a second. Wait, that's not an artifact. What is this? <gasps> Rodan Prime Enhancement Part? <gasps> I've actually never seen Rodan this series. I haven't seen one yet, but we've got an enhancement part slash saddle, a really good one at that, ready to go for him. So that is awesome. I just need to find one now, I guess. Dude, this guy's crazy good. What is that? Oh, are we ready to take on a prime dra I don't think so. No, especially not with fast HP regeneration and extra strong and extra targeting range. But that is the direction we're heading in. Taking on a prime dragon. We haven't yet taken on... He's, well, a prime boss. We've, we've taken on, you know, prime bosses, but we haven't taken on like a prime boss boss. You know what I mean? And that's what that is. Don't worry, the time will come. And I think it is going to come soon. I'll tell you what though, I really just want to get more pygmies now. That way, is that a pygmy? 
No, that's the parasaur with a green head. I really just need to get more pygmies down. That way we can just keep evolving them up into prime form and then just continually sacrifice them. And we can just get more and more and more of these ancient gods. And we can just keep on, I don't know, seeing what else we can do. But I'm, I'm so impressed. I can't believe how much, how lucky we got out of this. I don't normally get lucky like this. Not at all. Oh my gosh, the damage. Yes. You know what I want to do? I want to go. I want to go and hit up that dragon that tormented us yesterday and nearly killed my dragon. I want to go and revisit him and pay him a visit. Like one shot him out of his little nest there. Just to show him who he was truly messing with. Wait a second. Hey, I see you there. I see you there, buddy. A unique apex Miyanka. I should probably tame one of these guys up, but I'd rather just kill it and get sweet loot out of it. Dude, we actually got some sick stuff just then. A Broodmother saddle and an Apex Dragon saddle. Dude, an Argentavis tier two saddle as well. That's going to be good. And we also got a another Bloodstalker summon. Man, we're getting, cr we're getting weird stuff today. Anyways, what I was going to say was, let's go and pay another visit to that Ferox from yesterday. We might be able to kick its butt now. You know what I think my favorite part about this guy is? His wing flapping is just so quiet. It's not deafening like a manticore. Those guys are way too loud. Also, why is this guy so like destroyed? Why are you so banged up, buddy? Did I like try and fight you yesterday? We never completed the job or something. Well, now it's complete. Thank you for your meat. Oh, hey, are you the one? I think this might be the guy from yesterday because he's looking kind of angry. Uh, well, yeah, no, it is. He's got his <laughs> sucked in. That's what you get, man. I'm gonna go and steal your egg now as a result. He was still angry. He still had it in for us a day later and he's still, he still had a grudge on us. Well, that's what you get. Now you lose your baby. Actually, this isn't even, I actually don't even know if that's the nest. What I do know is there is a Ferox over here who needs speaking to. <laughs> and I'm gonna go and give him a talk. Oh, hello. Uh, maybe not then? Because I don't recognize what in the world that is. Um, that is an alpha bite. Wait, what? An alpha bite? They're not normally that big. That's crazy big. Why is that thing so enormous? I killed one of these the other day and it wasn't that big. Um, it's also like one hit. Man, you look intimidating, but also like not at the same time. Look at the size of this guy. I can like two shot it. <laughs> well, see you later, buddy. Thank you for your Rex bone skins and your 600 metal ingots. Oh, I need to kill more of them if that's what they're going to give me. But that right there is who I'm looking for. Zephyrox. And he ain't even... Oh, gosh. He ain't even healed up from yesterday. Can I just hit him with a fireball? I don't want to fly. I want to just do it from the edge here. Because if he uses his freezy ability, I'm going to be in a little bit of trouble. And I don't want to be in a lot of trouble, you see? All right. Why am I... Why am I... My attacks just can't hit this guy. It's like he's got little deflector abilities on or something. There we go. Not a lot of damage. Um... I don't know. I guess we'll, we'll see. But he's frozen me, which means I can't fly, which is exactly why I'm staying up here. And now we're going to shoot up over there. Okay, fine. Can you just fire at the ground? All right, just, just right there. I just need you to fire right there. Right there. Just straight downwards, mate. Oh, okay. That kind of hurt. <laughs> I should be more careful, I think. All right. So this guy can't fire straight at the ground. Oh, wow. Oh, he froze me. Oh, you pile of trash. You pile of trash. I'm going to take some fall damage here. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Fireballs. It's fireball time. It's fireball time. Um, yep. Nope. No, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know what his melee attacks look like, like damage-wise. So I'm not really keen to, to test that when they're out. Man, we might have just got lucky with the dragon on this guy yesterday. Because I just, I can't fire a shot straight downwards. <gasps> Wait, I've got minions. Oh, okay, so it is random. It's random primes. This time around, we got a bear. And then he's going to summon in his big bear, right? Oh my gosh, he deals damage. Wait, what? He died. Wait, who dealt the 50,000? Wait, no, he's still alive. He's still alive. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I want this Pharaoh's dead, guys. I want... Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> the dire bear. The dire bear just wrecks. Oh my gosh. Uh, what do we get for that? A Pharaoh's head? A prime ferox head. I gotta work out what this is used for. We're gonna pig me summoning artifact, which means a potential another sacrifice coming up soon, and then a bunch of other stuff. 
All right, let's chuck it all over to my dude's inventory because I'm getting mighty heavy from all of this loot. I just completely forgot the crazy amounts of loot that you get in this mod. It is insane. Also, I think it's pretty clear all of our other dinosaurs are going to be sitting on the back burner for a little while at the moment because it's Armorphodon just annihilates everything. And until he meets his match and eventually gets killed, there is no reason to change that. Actually, let's have a look at his little... Yeah, look, he's killed two Prime Wilds so far. I guess it doesn't count when his like minion does it for him or something. But this guy is untouchable. I say that with an asterisk, knowing that eventually he will be touchable and he probably will die and due to a very silly circumstance. It's just, it's just what happens. You get confident and then confidence comes and kills you. But what is happening over here? Hold on a second. Unique Apex. I'm, I mean, I don't know what you're doing out here, mate, but would you like a fireball? You can have a free fireball. Buy one, get one free. Have have the other one for free. Or you can, I can just buy you if you're into that. If you want, just want to get... Bit, whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on. Remember how I was just talking about nearly dying or dying stupidly? Um, I'm about to fulfill that prophecy. My guy's about to fall asleep. <laughs> uh, we nearly just made a big error. Okay, we didn't though. So it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Stop panicking, everyone. <gasps> I've just found the first downside of our guy here though. Um, you can't use weapons from his back, which means I can't use little soul orbs while we're mounted on him. But I can just stand on his back and pick up bags like that. So that's, that's fine. We got a wyvern over here that unfortunately is poison variety, which means pretty bad because, well, now he's dead. It's all good. Yeah, our top is still rising. My dude here is getting very, very sleepy. So I think I'm going to take him home before yeah, the inevitable happens. Put it that way. And that is just a fire wyvern. How is my guy going? Oh yeah, he's uh, uh yeah, he's gonna he's gonna take a nap soon. <gasps> that is a poison golem. I need to. Oh no 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 guys, these are the poison orbs that I've been talking about. Oh, that thing won't kill me. So, uh, yeah. We're just going to pretend that today never happened. I, I, th I think that'll be best for everyone. 